Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another video. Tech Brews Games bringing you some city skylines. Today, in this video, we're going to go over the top 10 best graphics mods. As you can tell, my computer is lagging just a little bit because I have got these graphics ramped up. So, and you can even just tell by looking at it, you guys, this looks a whole lot cleaner than the past couple of videos. So today we're going to go over some of the top 10 graphics mods that I think will really help either improve your game or if you have a computer that maybe struggles on graphics, maybe you only have something like in the 900s, 800 series graphics cards, um, or even if you have like a 1070, this game is super graphic demanding. So even if you're struggling to keep up with the graphics, you can also dull this down to, uh, I guess, increase your uh, frames per second. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Very first one that I would recommend is the Ultimate Eye Candy mod. Ultimate Eye Candy, while in the options list here, Ultimate Eye Candy is going to go ahead and help you in being able to control what time of day it is, the latitude of the sun, longitude, wherever you want to go ahead and place the sun. A lot of YouTubers that are creating videos on this game will utilize this to try and, I guess, basically set up their entire game to look as best as possible and you can also go ahead control the weather completely set that off so then that way it never rains or anything like that and they also have specific LUTs that you can go ahead and load. Some of these LUTs will help improve, I guess, just the colors. It's a lot easier to tell, I guess, when you're actually fully backed out, but you can also download just tons of these LUTs across the uh, Steam Workshop there. So personally, I think the game is completely fine without any LUTs, but one other thing, I guess, too, that a lot of people, I have the uh, day and night cycles disabled right now, but you can also increase how fast or how slow day and night cycles actually happen along with setting what time it is. Something that I think a lot of uh, YouTubers use to go ahead and try and improve the quality of their game. Mod number two, ultimate level of detail. This one is the big in, the big daddy. The one that I would say is going to improve game quality the most. What you can do is basically decide at what distance distance does everything load into your screen we have defaults here set to 425 1000 1000 thousand we're gonna go ahead and just set everything here to the game default for you guys so you can see the difference but basically what this is going to allow you to do is if you have a beefy graphics card like how i have a 360 and still the game actually it honestly doesn't look too bad but you can tell right now you can just barely start seeing some of the cars here they're really fading away here you can barely see them glistening in in the sun there fans are still spinning the river looks awesome. We also have a couple other mods on right now, so keep that in mind, like a uh, high resolution one. But you can see like the trees still look super blobby almost. The road detail is not very crisp, anything like that. So when you go ahead and you beef all this stuff up, personally, my computer, which is a 360 Ti, all of my stuff rests pretty well right around 1500. It's where it kind of starts to get just a little laggy where maybe I could bear to drop it just a little bit to increase my FPS. But honestly, this is one of those games I don't really give a shit. I don't think I really need FPS in this game. But now trees look a little bit crisper. Lines on the roads look crisper. There's a lot more cars circling around the highway. You can tell that just scrolling in and out, there's a little bit of lag there. But and that's what I'm talking about with your uh, FPS. If you're someone that absolutely cannot stand low FPS, then yeah, I I guess uh, you can also go vice versa. Go ahead and just drop everything down to the uh, lowest setting that it can. You can go well below even the game default to go ahead and really crank up those FPS. So then that way, uh, I mean, I don't know. You ain't playing competitive, I can tell you that much. I'm not on uh, City Skylines, but this is what the game looks like with some of the lowest settings. Not a single car, not a single person on the street. Everything is, I guess you can just barely see people walking here, but roads look like crap, trees look like crap, buildings look like crap. There's zero cars on the road. You got to really really zoom in look at the buildings even look at the tree this is a joke this is just yeah i don't know this looks like crap 
I still can't even get any cars to load. I'm literally at street level. There we go. There are some cars. Back out just a little bit and poof, cars are gone. That is ultimate level of detail. Next mod is dynamic resolution. Dynamic resolution goes ahead and allows you to set a uh, different percentage basically for the resolution. What this is really going to do is help you when you are completely zoomed in. And in order to really utilize this mod, you need the camera positions utility mod, which we will dive into that one later but what this will help you do is just when you are way zoomed in or way zoomed out help improve your resolution so then that way you can get even just the finest details even on top of the buildings the satellites the little vents on the roof even that little tiny vent right there on top of the building is spinning for me right now and this is partially because of this resolution mod but as you can see, things do get just a little bit blurry when you're really, really zoomed in. But there's even just the tiniest details, you guys. You can practically see the uh, frickin' leaves on this little potter right here on the balcony. That is uh, dynamic resolution. Not a whole lot to it, but it definitely helps improve your game. Next mod that I have for you guys is called Hide It. Hide It is pretty self-explanatory. You can go ahead and through this giant list of options, go ahead and hide just about anything that you want. Anywhere from billboards, wildlife, seagulls, parking space, garbage piles, tanks, chairs, mailboxes, swimming pools, bus lanes, turn signs, avenue street lights, taxiway lights, and buoys. We also have things like cliff decorations, grass decorations, fertile decorations, trees, props, grass, ore area, burned area, pollution fog, edge fog, all that kind of stuff. So yet again, this is another one that you will notice a lot of the uh, people on YouTube use for mods because they like to keep their maps looking as clean as possible. Now, not only will this help you make your map look really clean, but this will also really help boost your FPS. When it comes to the objects and props, there's probably a lot of stuff in here that maybe you just don't really care to see. Um, for instance, like smoke. Smoke is one of those things that can, like I guess a lot of people don't know about, but smoke can actually take up a lot of FPS if you have a lot of smoke in your city. Smoke is a very graphic, heavy graphic, I guess. So if you want to go ahead and disable smoke, that's going to help you out in boosting your FPS and just little things throughout here, you guys, you could just disable little, little things that maybe you just don't really care to see. A gate, I don't really need a gate. Pallets, meh, tanks, meh, garbage containers, that's an okay one. Smoke though, um, yeah, we'll get rid of smoke just because of how graphic intensive it really can be. This is what the game looks like right now. This is with fog on, you got all the pollution going across you've got ground pollution you can still see like all of this stuff you can literally get rid of and this will help drastically the swimming pools the satellites these benches chairs umbrellas um, that swing set all of these hedges you could literally turn all of this stuff off to help boost your fps but one thing that everyone loves to do is turn off all of your fog and then turn off all of your pollution and what this does you guys is it really 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 clears up the game pollution is gone you still see just a little bit of a trail there but all of this grass green as could be you still got the dead trees that's okay though it's not burnt ground anymore but this really helps clean up the game and you can even see just how smooth this gets with just the few things that I disabled. The game doesn't have to load all that pollution, it doesn't have to load whatever it was that I clicked off basically. So yeah, that is Hide It. Next mod on our list is Road Color Changer. Road Color Changer, this is a newer mod that at least I discovered. I personally think that this is an amazing mod. What this does is it helps change the colors of your roads to look a little more realistic. So at least in the uh, true game default, everything is kind of this gray color, um, which is, I guess, representing concrete, which let me tell you, the game looks awesome with these black roads that looks like freshly poured asphalt. This looks just so much better. It's a very small detail. It's not very graphic intensive. You can go ahead and hold down shift and adjust the red, green, blue here to literally make it as dark 
or as light as you want. And again, right, it's not very graphic intensive, so you really don't need to worry about it. You can make it as bright as you want, as dark as you want. Personally, I mean, that looks that looks like absolute shit, but if you go ahead and I have noticed, at least for me personally, I really enjoy right around the 40 mark. I think this gets as close as you can to like freshly poured asphalt. That looks pretty good pretty darn close. I mean, if it's fresh, fresh, we're talking like this thing was poured yesterday. We're talking probably more like 20, maybe even lower than that to get it to look like it's brand new, but that's just not very realistic. For me, I like to rest right around 40. But this mod does have other things. You can remove lane arrows, remove random street sides, clean textures, remove crosswalks, all that kind of stuff. If you are trying to improve your frames per second, go ahead and remove some of this stuff. And I promise you, your game is going to look a whole hell of a lot better. So yeah, that is road color changer for you. Next mod that we have on our list is Surface Painter. Surface Painter is a mod where it is, uh, again, pretty self-explanatory. Goes ahead and allows you to paint the surface anything that you want within this list, which I believe there are more downloadables. But you can go ahead and paint things like fields, ruined grass, gravel, and even pavement. I think the biggest one out of this entire selection, you'll go ahead and have this little brush option right here. But the one that is probably used the absolute most is going to be the pavement one. You can pretty much just literally pave in areas of grass to be pavement so then that way this looks a little more natural. This will help you in making maybe your industrial areas look more industrial or even if let's just say some of these areas don't look realistic you can go ahead and just ruin the grass basically if you're looking for more of a desert feel. You'll notice that it even changes the color of the sidewalks there and then you can go ahead and and use uh, left click to put it down, push right click to remove everything that you laid down. Otherwise, you also have other options like field if you're looking to get a little more grass installed around here because I don't know why these buildings generate a bunch of sand, um, which seems a little crazy to me. So literally just can come through and just paint tons and tons of grass, which maybe that's not 100% realistic. Maybe you'd have to end up going and putting up a whole bunch of fences I guess to really make it realistic but be careful because now I'm even painting areas like commercial industry where that would not be realistic and you have to go back and clean all this kind of stuff up so Otherwise, that is a surface painter for you. Now, the next one on our list, I also had this on one of our best mods to use to help improve gameplay, but I put it down here again. That is the Auto Bulldoze. I put this down for the graphic mod also just because of the fact that simply I hate the abandoned and burnt down buildings. I think they look like complete garbage. It drives me nuts, but I absolutely love this mod that it goes ahead and just gets rid of all of that kind of stuff for me. We're putting it on this list again just because it helps clean up your city, helps clean up the look quite a bit. I would highly recommend it. There's a couple of them out there. So yeah, that's Auto Bulldoze. Next mod that I have on my list is Shadow Distance. Shadow Distance Fix will go ahead and allow you to select at what distance can you see shadows. You can actually see it next to the menu here. Um, as I pull it to the side, it goes ahead and extends out how far I can actually see the shadows. Now again, this can either be a huge graphic improvement for you or it's a huge FPS improvement for you. I go ahead and set this thing to very sharp and I max this puppy out so then that way I can get shadows even from quite a distance. It's pretty hard to see, but you can still actually see some of the shadows on this guy. So otherwise, when you go ahead and you change this over from very sharp to very blurry. Um, what this is doing is this will help you in being able to see the shadows even from out here you can still see them. But what this does is it just helps you out in crisping up the shadows a little bit more. Again, this is a very graphic intensive kind of thing. It really just depends on what you think looks realistic. When I put on very blurry, all of these shadows tend to get very choppy 
compared to when I have it on a very sharp with a good distance on there. Um, you can even see small bits of daylight coming through. So yeah, that is the uh, shadow distance fixer. Next mod that I have on my list is the camera position utility mod. Camera position utility allows you to go ahead and change things like camera speed speed, ground proximity, FOV, near clip plane, and a whole bunch of little things. One of the things that I love about it is to just the fact that you can zoom out as far as you want and you can zoom in incredibly far. Now when you get this close, obviously as you can see the game gets really, really foggy. Um, this just looks absolutely terrible. Zoom out just a little bit that'll fix the issue for you but you can also go ahead and change things like the camera speed um, if you feel that maybe the camera moving around is just too fast for you you can speed it up slow it down default value of 30 so it really just kind of depends on what you really want but you can move the camera speeds around ground proximity all this kind of stuff net collision half of this junk I really do not use really the biggest thing for me is just I like to be able to zoom out see the whole city see the whole map kind of plan out my next moves and I I enjoy being able to zoom pretty darn far in just so then that way I can get a good feel for my city and if it's uh, realistic or not. That is the camera positions utility mod. All right, you guys, last mod on our list. I've got one that is kind of going to be combined with a secondary one here, but the very last one that I have is the extra landscaping tools mod. What the extra landscaping tools mod does is it goes ahead and it adds some additional landscaping landscaping tools for you. Pretty self-explanatory. Not too sure how else to really claim this thing, but what it's going to do is it adds just a few additional features, including um, something like the uh, water feature here, where you can go ahead and reset, uh, reset water levels, water capacity types. Um, if you want to add a body of water wherever you want, you can also do that. If you feel like just drop in a pool of water right here and just flood the whole city, um, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, just go ahead and you can also delete the guy um, just by right clicking it and you can watch part of your city go ahead and flood out, wash away all these buildings and everything will just kind of clear itself out. Luckily, because we have the auto bulldoze mod on, everything is already gone. Everything will just flood out. We'll just watch all these poor people just slowly float away. Oh no. Homes are flooded, cars are ruined, some poor kid was watching my YouTube video in this house. Oh well. So be it. That is the uh, extra landscaping tools mod. The other thing that I am also going to go ahead and clip this in with is the prop and tree anarchy mod. Now the reason why I went ahead and I'm kind of clipping these ones together is because really you need those extra landscaping tools to kind of perk up your city and do little tidbits of adding additional things, trees, all that kind of stuff to make it look cleaner. But if you go ahead, hold down shift and push P, you can go ahead and activate the prop and tree anarchy tool. And what this allows you to do is pretty much kind of like the road anarchy. You can literally place trees wherever the hell you want. Now, obviously, don't do stupid things like this and plant it right in the middle of the road, but where this is useful is if the game was not allowing you to place trees, let's just say like on the sidewalk right here, where I think it would be realistic to have some trees probably right up against this uh, little park right here. You can go ahead and do that now. You can actually place it right up against the sidewalk or even placing trees like in the cemetery. If you think that the cemetery seems um, kind of bare to you, then you can go ahead and place these guys to give uh, your loved ones a little more shade, am I right? But otherwise, this uh, mod is pretty much just in that way you can help clean up landscaping just a little bit more, help improve the looks of the city, but definitely, definitely, definitely helps out you guys in the long run and just being able to place things kind of wherever you feel that you need it to really improve the look of your city. Thanks guys for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Those were some of the top 10 graphics mods that I personally use on a day-to-day -day basis in this video game. I think it really helps improve everything. There's our half-flooded city from our water or extra landscaping tool mod, but otherwise you guys be sure to like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you guys end up using these mods. Um, I will leave a uh, link down in the description below to all the mods that I used in this video today. And otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.